Slippage happens when the execution of your trade changes from the price that you actually put your trade in. That is, it may have gone up or down a couple of cents or maybe even a few dollars. Now, this is very prevalent in volatile markets or when you're trading with a token that doesn't have too much volume. So you do have to be aware of slippage. Let's have a look at how it works on the MinSwap DEX. So this is the MinSwap DEX and I'm currently looking at the ADA and Min pair at the moment. And you can see the details in my trade here. Let me just zoom in for you. And we can see the slippage tolerance is set to 0.5%. So that's if my executed price has moved beyond that 0.5%, my trade won't execute and it will be rejected in this case. Now with that slippage tolerance set, I know that my order won't be executed if it slips or moves beyond that particular difference. So I can be confident and ensure that my trade gets executed as close to the price that I had requested. Now I can actually change this on the MinSwap DEX and change that slippage so that I can force my trade through even if the price has moved. This is kind of good if the market is very volatile and I really just want to exit or really want to enter at any price possible so that I can uh, do a subsequent trade afterwards. You can see here the slippage tolerance can be changed from 0.1, 0.5 or 1% as default settings. You can also set it to any amount that you want here as well. Just be aware that there are consequences for changing your slippage to such a high amount. They also have this feature called unlimited slippage, where no matter what the price is, as soon as your order hits the chain and is about to be processed by one of their batches, it will just execute. So the price may have moved in a terrible way or maybe even a really good way, that order will be executed for you. So a few things there to think about when you're trading on a DEX or even on a centralized exchange, be aware of slippage and that price movement. You can use these features on the DEXs or centralized exchanges to your advantage. So you can take advantage of a really volatile situation and get your order through. But if you're just trading on a regular basis and just want to get a really precise price, refine that amount of slippage and make sure you're getting as close to the price as you had requested. Hopefully you found this video useful and interesting. If you want to find out more about trading on DEXs and DeFi in general, make sure you hit that thumbs up, click subscribe, click on that notification bell and you get a lot more DeFi related videos from me real soon. See you in the next video. Yeah, yeah, gotta do it like that. You've been listening to the Learn Cardano podcast. Gotta get it hype. Crypto is what we like. But this is not investment or financial advice. Gotta do your research, cause it's risky. We know it is. This show is educational and it's informative. Crypto's the future, really, it ain't no debate.